Tonight, big money comes into view for St. Louis and the Bi-State area. From roads to cars and so much more, a wealth of things will soon be changed or improved by the just-signed infrastructure bill. We're going to start tonight with our Dion Broxton in the Central West End as wish lists begin to form for how to use those infrastructure dollars. Dion? Corey, you talk to anybody in the city and they'll tell you the Lindell Bridge needs to be fixed ASAP. People in Forest Park told me that today and the mayor told me that. Now you go northwest to St. Charles County and people there will tell you that highways need to be expanded. Jim Versuna spent almost 20 years in the West End. One thing remains the same. So it's definitely in bad shape. There's some big potholes on top. The Lindell Bridge. It was leaking a lot of water, like not only after rain, but like between rains. With Missouri getting $9 billion over the next five years in the newly signed federal infrastructure package, local leaders like St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones want to address issues that Bruce Sunis is bringing up. The next ones on our list for replacement include the Lindell Bridge over Forest Park Parkway or the Metrolink. Here's how the money breaks down at the state level. $6.5 billion for highways, nearly $485 million for bridges, and almost $675 million for public transportation. Connecting North County down to the south via Metrolink is also a top priority for the area. Dr. Page and I are in sync um, about that. We've discussed uh, updating the study to include the county and, and what that expansion would look like in the county. St. Louis County confirms to News 4 it currently has a $200 million price tag for road improvements. Roads are a big concern in neighboring St. Charles County. Have been for a long time, uh, one of the fastest growing counties in the state of Missouri. County Executive Steve Elman says the county keeps filling gaps that the state won't cover. We spent $120 million of uh, local county and city dollars to, uh, to supplement the state's system and, and get at least some of that additional needed infrastructure built. But Elman says St. Charles County can't cover its top priority. Number one on that list is the intersection at I-64 and I-70. Elman says the intersection hasn't been upgraded since the 50s, all while population growth continues. It seems like something that uh, hopefully this uh, new infrastructure package can address pretty quickly. Right now, we don't know when or how much local governments will get. Live in Central West End, Dion Broxton, News 4. All right, Dion, thank you.